Hey, 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 yo, 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 my friends. This is your friendly neighborhood Power BI Pro. Off duty, off duty. So the bow tie is gone, the cap is on. Okay, I'm just messing around. But hey, I just wanted to check in and report on you on day one of our five day Power BI challenge. And talking about off duty, we had my most exciting moment was having a conversation with Daryl, who is works in law enforcement. And let me make sure I get it right. And they're using, guess what? Power BI. Yes, and everybody has data. So Daryl is using law enforcement and conducting crime analysis using Power BI dashboards and we discuss different scenarios and and that was my favorite part and because that's where I started the call I started the call by saying that hey this is not a beauty contest I'm not really big into creating dashboards I focus on really solving business problems and anybody who's worked with data knows that usually it's not glorious works it's it's usually uh, yeah kind of a bit of a thankless work and you know, involving these unsung heroes, you really got to roll up your sleeves and just get down in there. And a lot of it is stuff going. Now, of course, a lot of that is smoothed out by Power BI. So that's where I like to work with people in these trenches. We're really struggling with data and just making their lives easier, just transforming that experience, really empowering them. Uh, so that was a great conversation. And that happened about an hour into the call. I think the whole call lasted like Two and a half hours, something like that, something crazy like that. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of recap the whole thing for you. All right, so let's take it from the top. And so we started off with a simple question. James was asking about, you know how you connect to a folder and it creates all this stuff in there, transform files and sample queries. What is that about? And of course, I started the call by this metaphor or analogy of you do your cooking in the kitchen. And in this case, cooking is how you clean shape transform data in kitchen is a query editor. And I, I talked about how query editor is the right place to do it. And I explained why in a demo. Two big reasons. One, the kitchen has all the right appliances and utensils. And number two, it has a trash can. That's why you need to do your cooking in the kitchen. So just watch the video for more on that. So that's right at the beginning of the call. Uh, and Cheryl kind of counter talked about calculations and she's right. Calculations, the best place to do that is in DAX. Robert asked about he's struggling with real data and where do you start so I had that discussion dax is easy a lot of it is about mindset tron was coming from click view and where do we solve oh how do we take snapshots of data in time so that's an interesting interesting scenario uh, carl had some problems splitting the time field and i was able to my hypothesis was correct so a lot of this is kind of experimentation you you hear a problem or you encounter a problem you say ah i think this is why it's happening and in this case i kind of got a little lucky and again daryl my favorite conversation I already talked about that using it in law enforcement and we talked about different scenarios how they're using uh, these dates uh, the offense date, report date, other dates, and uh, i talked about how there are different approaches to handling these multiple dates and to begin with, what does that mean to have multiple dates? How does that mean in the overall model? Just watch the video and that's got more. Time duration, mm, a little bit of discussion there. Call to managers. Uh, okay, so this was me making a call out to everybody that guys don't, don't use Power BI in the fashion of just putting lipstick on a pig, just to make something look pretty. Again, it's under the hood that matters. You, you're gonna get tired of hearing this. I'm never gonna get tired of saying it. Uh, we talked about date and date key. Fabian had a question on filtering a slicer by cross highlighting. I don't think that's possible. Duration data type, I had never seen that. Roberto called that out. Mm, what is a better way? So Oliver is asking like a really cool question, like a big scale, like do we connect to SSAS or do we connect directly to the database? So I went uh, quite deep, maybe too deep uh, in this, but I, I certainly feel, I certainly have, uh, you know, thoughts around that. Uh, I also mentioned how you're working with databases. What does that mean? Third normal form, star schema, a little bit of that. And then Trevor is trying to make these shrink wrap solutions and just hand them out to customers. And we talked about different scenarios and how, how he can cater to his customers, how he can deliver the solutions to them and also keep them updated. Uh, Trevor is obviously clearly very tech savvy and he was talking about how he can script the whole thing. Uh, so I have not delved too much into it, but I tried to help him the best I could. Uh, is Power BI the same like ClickView and Tableau? Some discussion there against other tools. 
Wow, so how do we sell Power BI to a typical uh, Excel analyst? So I talked about that, how the best way is to go for the low-hanging fruit, and we talked about a few different scenarios. You can see we're in the second hour now, two hours, 17 minutes. Uh, Ankur had a, I think a simple question. Well, uh, so how do we disable a tile from clicking down to the report level? You can set the custom link. That's how I would do it. Mm, how can I connect to server? I'll skip over that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see some good ones. Free account, free versus paid. I had that discussion with Ramon from Venezuela and PC Rao had an interesting question and really we couldn't really help him. And you can probably hear my kids screaming in the back. Uh, so he's trying to use custom images and you can do that and it's using exactly the approach that is, is used here, but you can only use that with calculated columns. But of course the drawback for calculated columns is that they're not dynamic. Measures are dynamic, but when you use measures, you cannot categorize them as an image URL. So we were kind of caught and the best I could offer him was to either look at uh, using Unicode symbols, and I do have a video out there where I demonstrate that, or maybe look at some custom visuals. So guys, that was a wrap for day one. I was, uh, you know, I was usually after these cool calls, I, I had this weird mix of emotions and feelings. I am exhausted, it's a long call, but I'm also, kind of an epic high. I mean, it leaves me on, gives me such a rush. Yeah, because gosh, I, it's not, doesn't get better. Hanging out with you guys, solving real world Power BI problems, that's what it's all about. So that was day one. If you would like to join in the challenge, then go to learnpowerbi.com slash challenge. That way you'll get all the notification and all the resources and I'm gonna keep you updated. And this is gonna go on for pretty much the entire week next week and we have an epic finish on Friday. All right, my friends, power on.